What's going on, my nerds and collectors alike? Today we are back at it again, looking at the continuation of the Disney Plus Captain America Builder Wing series. Today we are looking at Bucky Barnes! As you can tell, Bucky is one of my sister's favorite characters. Thank you for the enthusiasm. So as you can see here, we have the Falcon and the Winter Soldier logo. You get your little Disney Plus blip there. It says the Winter Soldier. But in my opinion, this should say White Wolf, because at this point, Bucky's gone through enough, and he's earned a new title. At the top here, you've got a nice embossing of his shoulder there with the star, which is kind of interesting, considering he no longer uses that either. On the side here, we have a nice picture of Sebastian Stan in the Bucky costume, the Winter Soldier costume. On the other side, we get the same image. On the bottom there, you get your barcodes, warnings, legalese, unreadables, all that fun stuff. On the back of the box here, you can see that he is part of the Build-A-Wing wave. To complete that wave, you will need Scarlet Witch, the Vision, Loki, the Winter Soldier, US Agent, Baron Zemo, and Captain America. Down here, you got your warnings, small parts, so don't stick it in your mouth. It's not for children under three years. You get a nice larger image of the Winter Soldier there, and it reads, the Winter Soldier. Thrust back into the real world, Bucky is forced to figure out how to become James Barnes again, all while facing demons from his past. And in the show, Bucky does go through a uh, PTSD arc, which is very nice to see them finally flushing out the character a little bit more. Get a little bit more of his past, get how he's feeling, all that fun stuff. So let's go ahead and crack Bucky open and see what he's about. All right, so here we have Bucky out of the packaging, all posed up here with a pistol that he doesn't come with, sadly. Let's go ahead and get him straightened up here. Take a look. Um, the sculpt itself for his face does look a lot like Sebastian Stan, but something about the paint is throwing it off. Um, somebody commented that it might just be the eyebrows. But I still think it looks a lot like Sebastian Stan. Sebastian Stan does have kind of that Mark Hamill face where uh, it's really hard to nail down in a sculpt, but I think it looks pretty good. We also get the new vibranium arm here from Wakanda, which looks fantastic. It's a nice shiny black plastic with the gold highlight, which has been picked out without flaw. So we finally have a nice looking vibranium arm for Bucky. Which is always good, because the last couple of arms have not been great. We've got the separation of the different plastics for his boots here. Got a nice uh, blue dry wash, or dry brushing. So we've got a nice blue highlight over top of his jacket. Because you can see it's actually molded in a darker plastic, but they dry brushed over top of it with a blue highlight. So that looks really nice. You got the nice little red picked out there, here and there on the jacket, and on the belt. Well, I guess the strap. You got your buckles picked out in silver. So it's nice to finally have a bucky that they didn't kind of skimp out on. Uh, getting into articulation here. So his head is on a dumbbell joint, but it's only a single dumbbell, so it is kind of limited. He can only look up that far. And he can only look down that far. But he does get some tilt. So, I wish Hasbro would start perfecting this a little bit more. From the Shang-Chi wave, I think those uh, neck joints were probably the best that we've seen. So, if they could start doing those, that'd be really nice. But, you know, his arm rotates 360. Goes out to 90. He has a bicep swivel. And they do have the pinless joint technology on Bucky. His arm has a double joint that goes up that far. His wrists are on a swivel and they go in and out. And as you can see, he's got the trigger finger hand. There you go, trigger finger hand. So I do want to go ahead and voice a concern while we're doing this. The vibranium arm here, I actually added some silicone oil to loosen up a little bit just because the joint for the bicep, the actual 
peg that plugs into the arm is very, very gummy. I was afraid that I was going to actually shear that peg off. So I added some silicone oil to that to loosen that up. And I also added a little bit of silicone oil into the elbow here, just so that it was a little bit easier to move the detents because when I would bend the arm, it would also pull on the bicep quite a bit, which honestly is still a concern but it is lessened now. On this arm, he actually also, this arm is made of a softer plastic, so his hand moves just fine. And he has the same articulation on this arm as well. He crunches forward that far. He crunches back that far. He does have a waist swivel. He kicks forward at 90 degrees. Does not kick back just because of the sculpt back here blocking it. He kicks out about there. He does have a thigh rotation, but something odd is his thigh rotation is actually on like the lower part of his thigh right there. So that's interesting. He does have double jointed knees, again using the pinless technology. They go up pretty far and if you force it just a little bit, he will kick his own back, but be careful with that. He has a boot swivel. There you go. Boot swivel, sorry about that, was a little bit stuck. His ankles go back all the way. Go forward just a little bit and he does have ankle pivot. So he has a decent amount of articulation. Um, as always, one of the only things I really would have liked to see them add extra to this was, of course, fix the neck articulation because with that dumbbell joint, that's fairly limited. And a butterfly joint is always welcome around articulation on Marvel Legends. For accessories, Bucky comes with a set of gripping hands. So on the vibranium arm, this could be used as a choking hand or a weapon supporting hand. And this gripping hand has more of a trigger finger. So if you've got spare guns, you can use those. I have a SIG pistol from Marariko. And yeah, that trigger is a little bit broken. That was my fault. That's not them. But I use this one because... The trigger finger isn't always is, isn't uh, cut out all the way, and that actually makes it fit in there. So you can give Bucky a Sig, which I believe is what he used in the episode where they went to the Super Soldier Serum Lab. Anyway, and you can also give him a set of Dukes, so he can punch his enemies. And both of these hands look pretty good. Um, it would have been nice to see maybe another head, maybe an angry head or a smiling head, because Bucky does finally get some peace with Sam after they have a nice talk, so him and Sam become friends in the series, so that would be nice. It would definitely have been nice to have him come with a handgun, like maybe a SIG, but you know. You get what you get. For size comparisons, here is Bucky next to Steve Rogers. Here is Bucky next to his Infinity War self. As you can see, this is also meant to be the vibranium arm, but clearly that's not black. That is a steel color with a gold wash, whereas that is much, much more accurate and a better sculpt. So there's that. Here's Bucky next to the Civil War Falcon. And here is Bucky next to 
Ayo. Because, you know, she's the one who helped clear his mind of the Winter Soldier programming, and he has another run-in with her, and even commissions her to give Sam the Vibranium Wings. So there they are together, looking pretty good. For any of you interested, just in case you wanted to alter your display or alter history for your display's timeline, here we'll do this hand because that would make more sense. Here is Bucky. There you go. With the Captain America shield. So in case you don't like the decision of having Sam as Captain America, which I think was a good decision, you can give Bucky a shield. So that's how he looks with that. So that's pretty cool. But I prefer to have Sam as the new Captain America. It just makes more sense to me. So we'll give Bucky his pistol here. And you can have his arm supporting it like he's about to aim. All in all, I do really like the Bucky figure a lot. Um, as I said, I do kind of wish that they would have given him the title of White Wolf instead of the Winter Soldier, since he's not the Winter Soldier anymore. But they're still calling him the Winter Soldier for now. Um, I do want to go ahead and say that this channel and all of its content are not for anybody below the ages of 13 years old. If you're a minor, you can't be here. I'm sorry. This is not a channel for minors. YouTube policies and all that fun stuff. But I do definitely recommend the figure. I like it a lot. Happy collecting, everybody.